I thought I deserved to um, have a little break from work, marking as it happened. I was inspired by or impressed by a product review in BRM of the J11 and I've just been to Rails of Sheffield, I uh, went to get something else and purchased this. This must be how it comes from Backman, wrapper of tissue paper around the case and it's the Robinson Class J11. Now I wanted a late crest one, they only had the early crest and late crest one. The early crest was DCC ready and the late crest one was DCC fitted and so uh, I've purchased the DCC fitted version but the difference in price uh, in rails, they do a discount off the list price anyway, was such that uh, it was about £14 more for the DCC fitted one. Uh, and you can't buy a chip and have it fitted for that. I think they charge £29 to fit a chip. So, it's uh, as you might expect in the Backman packaging. And um, if you've had the magazines, you'll have seen the reviews in there of this. It's been reviewed in a couple of magazines. But on the shelf, the one that was on display, just in the flesh looked superb and I'm sure my little video isn't going to do it justice. I don't look any better on a blue background. Um, but it is a very nicely detailed model. I might what am I going to do in order to look inside? Right, I've slightly repositioned the camera because one of the impressive things about it, about this model, is the level of detail all round. And so if we get it to focus inside on the back head, you can see there, hopefully if I move it around slowly, all the detail in there of the pipework. Uh, the control levers, the valves, uh, the seating for the driver and fireman, the doors for the firebox, all beautiful detail because this is uh, quite an open cab and the separately applied wire handrails in there. So really, and right up there in the top, in the roof, if I've not got the plastic in the way, uh, I think you can see the gauges. And then at the back, even at the back, just the back of the um, tender, just the way the handrails are depicted, there it's all very fine. I've not lifted it out yet. Uh, and again, if we look along the body, Everything looks just so, so fine. And then round to the front, where you can see the uh, steam pipe work and the detail on the front of the smoke box door. There a bit detail and so much about it. And even the fall plate between the tender and the loco there uh, and the representation of coal in the bottom where the opening to the uh, cold storage in the tender comes through. So a lot of very fine detail there. It looks like it's ready coupled and uh, the articles in the magazine explain that, uh, that we've got to pick up on the wheels of the tender so you get good electrical continuity. It's a fairly simple drawbar arrangement for coupling the loco to the tender, just a, a drawbar with a hole in it onto a pin. There you can see the pickups and the good thing from the outset is that the power pickups from all six wheels on the loco stay in contact with the wheels at all times. Similarly uh, on the tender the pickups aren't actually onto the wheels, they're onto the axles, so you've got axles 
there with the pick of some to it and the connection isn't through um, as on some other models spring connectors on the draw bar is actually a plug and socket arrangement I wouldn't like to try and disconnect it at all given where that socket is but you don't need to I read somewhere about somebody saying removing the coal low to replace it with the real coal was a problem on one model on this one it's not a, a problem at all because the coal load is uh, a piece of die cast metal uh, it actually just falls out as soon as you turn the model on its side so that's going to be fairly easy to replace with real coal right I think that's enough for a, a static view of it I think the next thing is to run it in on the DC layout in the shed uh, and I'll make another video of that see it running see how it actually runs uh, unless it's um, too tricky to run it on that in which case I might just run it in on the rolling road so that's the end of the first quick look at this Backman class J11